Welcome to the 10 7 show with Tara, Tyra Goose, and myself. Tara had to run like literally 20 seconds. seconds. She, had to, she had a quick run she had to make, so she will be back. <coughs> Excuse me. But we are here. We're getting the show started for y'all. Welcome back. It's yet another Sunday, March the 12th. The year is flying. It's March already. I know. It's midway through March. I already. know. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember. It's almost Christmas again. Oh, no. Slow that down. <laughs> We leave our summer to enjoy. Exactly. That is true. That is true. I'm looking forward to the summer. It's almost your birthday again. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so you know, I like to start every show by saying how y'all been. Goose, how you been? I've been good, man. You know, slow motion, just nothing spectacular right now. But yeah, I can you know. It. Just enjoying, enjoying life as I go along. I can dig it. I can dig it. How about you? I need to go in slow motion. Thanks for that, Goose. You remind me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, just living life. You know what I mean? Working. We look like we're sitting like so far away. Oh, we do? Well, you got to get close to me. I was trying to give you some leg space. You always talk no, about you the one that need the leg space. Because you want to sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm, I got my legs open too much and I don't, I don't give her enough space. And now she said, I need the space. Okay. But, but I'm doing, how you doing? I'm good. I've been sick the last few days. I um, know. Oh. Woo, woo, woo. I see the best of us, bro. I, I, I done caught the, uh, then caught these allergies that been running through the family. <laughs> <laughs> The little one had the allergies first, and then the, she had the allergies, and now I have the allergies. <laughs> okay, I got you. Y'all speaking so, in <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm finally, I guess I'm turning the corner in a sense, but, you know, the show must go on, and, and here we are. Um, yeah. Outside of that, I'm good, man. I can't complain about nothing. Baseball season for the high school team gets started. Uh, the first game is Friday. Okay. Knowles Town, so you know that's going to be interesting uh, to see. Earliest that we've ever started the season, and since my I've been the coach there, so you know, I, you know, it's like two weeks. It, two weeks the season officially started two weeks ago. And now we got a game, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see. So it is what it is. But with all that being said, I know uh, we're going to move forward with the show. We got a lot to talk about today. Of course, we got some new Dear Ten Seven, some new Would You Rather, some What Would You Do's. Of course, we're going to talk about some deal breakers that you may have in a relationship. But before I get into the next segment, I just want to eat, ask both of y'all. I feel like she tells us almost every other week what would be a deal breaker. Like we know a lie is a deal breaker. Right? No, that's not true. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we started this show. Yeah, she we lied it out. I'm done. We lied. I'm done. No, you see, you that you get taken the, the and, text and, out of context. And you know what, Goose? Let me tell you something. I'm so worried about losing my wife to a lie. That's not true. Anytime she asked me, did you fart? I got to think about it for like five minutes. Like, should I clean this one or, or what should I do? I don't know if I should clean this one. No, see, no, I'm not even going to go back into the context of why I said that. That was before we were married. While we were dating, I told him because I was a little frustrated in my relationship life. So I said, you know, if I if he lies one time, I'm done. Like, I'm not hanging around to see if you a liar. You lie one time, I'm out. That's like, not, I'm, but that's not what she said on the show. That is what I said. said. I talk about that all the time. Goose, I know you was there. What did she say on the show? Oh, no. She said if you lie at all about anything. No, like, I don't. I got it. We got to look at the context of what was going on. <laughs> Listen, the people, the people can send comments and let us know. Okay. <laughs> they were watching, too. They've been here with us the whole time as well. What's up, Sheena? Hey, Sheena. Hey, Sheena. Loyal follower. To the yes. Seven show. Appreciate you. And I do have allergies tonight too, hence my eye water. Uh, and stuff. like I'm about to get sick again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead on. Where we at on so, our favorite? Uh... No, but I think I, I wanted to ask Goose, what would be a deal breaker for you? Because that's what we're talking about later on in the show. Some deal breakers. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like it's kind of weird. It's kind of different for you now that you've been married. You're 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 you're, you're invested in it. Right. So a deal breaker now would be a lot different from you. For you from a deal breaker like 20, right. 25 years ago. 
Yeah. But I'm interested in what would be a deal breaker for you because, you know, you've heard stories of people married for 25, 30 years and then they divorce and you're like, God darn, what happened after 30 something years that y'all just like, I'm done. Got tired of smelling that morning, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. You think what I'm saying? Um, It would probably be like flat out deal breaker, like be financial. You dig what I'm saying? Like, she just took all the money and spent it on whatever. Oh, you yeah. Now we out in these streets. I can understand that. Yeah. You, you, so, it, it would, because that would be hard to, because listen, man, all your savings, you dig what I'm saying? So, when people take your savings, not only are they taking your money, they also taking your time. Because you take yeah. time to take to make that money. You Absolutely. Money. Absolutely. We so, trade our time for money. So, so that's like one thing that would be hard to get your head around. You dig what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why people get mad when like you loan money out to somebody and they always pay you back. Like, yo, you know how long I had to work to lend you that? $500? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. How many hours I had to put in just for that yep. 500 Like, damn. All right. Um, well, we're going to move on. We're going to talk about that a little later on in the show. What deal breakers would be in your relationship. What, what would happen in a relationship where you say, you know what? I'm done. I don't need to be around this. This mm. is this is not for me. It's not feeding the energy I need to have, whatever the case may be. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get to everybody's favorite part of the show. This is the part of the show where we ask you. Yes, it's the Would You Rather portion of the show that is brought to you by Therapeutic Billing. And Tara's not here to talk about Therapeutic Billing, yeah. so I'll try to take it over. And I'll do the best I can. Unless, unless Goose, unless you want to talk about it. No, I'm good. <laughs> Ain't you part of it? <laughs> well, I'll talk. Let me, let me try to get my... He must uh, be a solid sp- partner. Let me, let me try to get my sp- read it. Kermit the Frog voice on. So <laughs> Therapeutic Billing is a woman-owned and led bi- medical credentialing billing service and virtual assistance service. Uh, you can contact Therapeutic Billing by calling 610 228 2029 that's 610 228 2029 or you can email therapeutic billing at info at therapeutic therapeutic billing.com or of course you can go to the website www.therapeuticbilling.com that was my best yeah, you did a great job. impression right there. I'm, I'm a supporter i'm not a partner you're not a partner okay okay but it, all right is what it is so we got the would you rathers ready to go? I'm ready. I got some good ones. And I wish Tara was here for this one, but maybe she can go back and answer it. This one is kind of crazy. I couldn't choose myself. Would you rather sweat ketchup or maple syrup? What? <laughs> I do this to get Goose's look. He do that every time. Ketchup. Ketchup. What? Ketchup. Yeah, I say ketchup too. Can you imagine trying to wash off maple syrup? Yeah, ketchup, man. Ketchup. But, but you will also get a lot of attention. Like black people, like people like our our complexions, we probably wouldn't get as much attention um letting maple syrup because it may not be seen as much. Right. But the ketchup is gonna look like we're bleeding. You know how much attention we're gonna be getting? I mean, even if you white Absolutely. and you go, you kept sweating ketchup. They you both gonna draw blood. Sure because people gonna think you bleeding out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I didn't think about that. But, but I'll true. take the ketchup because I don't want to sweat syrup and have I it. I want to be sticky like that all the time. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be sticky either. And like, we're talking maple syrup, like sap from a tree. Like, right. you can't just easily get that off. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, so here's another one. Would you rather have green skin like Shrek or blue skin like a Smurf? <laughs> Well, you know what? Just because I'm short, I'm gonna go with the green skin. Because <laughs> there'd be way too many jokes. <laughs> way too many jokes that I wouldn't be able to combat if I had blue skin like a smart. It, it just wouldn't work and out they'll never me. put on white gloves. It would never work out for me. I couldn't be a, <laughs> I, couldn't, my hat. I couldn't do that and be an usher at church. Couldn't do it. <laughs> no, you could not. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the blue skin. Because if I went green, they'd be like, you shrunk for real. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna go with the blue skin simply because I will probably look more like an avatar than a smurf. 
You wouldn't be my Fiona. Huh? I don't want to have green skin. I'm All right. Don't do it. <laughs> no, we can have bluish green babies. <laughs> All right, so that's my answer. Hold on, hold on. I got a couple more. I got, got a couple got more. A couple comments coming in. Sheena says she would rather sweat maple syrup, mm -hmm. and she says she would rather have. Oh, let me put them in. That's right. Hold on. Wow. She says she would rather she would rather sweat maple syrup, and said <laughs> and said uh, she would rather have blue skin like a Smurf. Yeah, like a Smurf. I said Smurf. A Smurf. Well, you're a little congested. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Would you rather only be able to walk backwards or only be able to crawl on all fours? Walk backwards. <laughs> Look at walk face. backwards. Walk backwards. Real backwards. I can play it off cool. How can you play that off? Like I you come into a job interview and you walking backwards. I can come moonwalking in that job. Just man, you know we're getting up and down on all fours all the time. Going to exactly. <laughs> like, why would I want to crawl? <laughs> well, that's true. Come on, help me up. Help me up. <laughs> <laughs> help, me up help me up. Help me up. Help me up. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm going to walk backwards, too. Oh, Crawling? No. No. Okay. So you go to like a Phillies game and you had all the way up at the top? Uh -huh. You got to crawl all the way up them, John? Yeah, that's crazy. You just on the ground outside is, is it the time. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. Yeah, too. Okay. What well, what about you? Um, like you I, yeah, I would car. rather no, I would rather walk backwards. Okay. I don't want to get on all fours because I don't want to be like walking towards somebody and they think I'm like a demented chucky doll. Like I just saw that movie, <laughs> Megan. Uh what, Friday? Christian made me watch Megan and she and I could just see this little robot doll crawling on all fours. It was real freaky. <laughs> I don't watch scary movies, but my daughter talked me into it. All right. So I also have a what would you do? Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. And this is not like deep. This is like, what would you do if money didn't matter? Like what like I could just like, like what context? Like yeah, well, it just says if money didn't matter. So, like, if money wasn't an object for you, like, you could afford anything. Retire. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I would no longer work. That's a fact. I okay. Would, I would retire. That's the first thing I would do. What? Uh, anything else? Do everything I ever wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would retire, and I would I would purchase some farmland. I would purchase. I want a farm. I would purchase the I would purchase some beachfront property in another country. Oh, she, uh, we got a comment. Sheena says she'd travel the world. Yeah. I'd buy the Sixers. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd buy the Sixers. I'd buy the Phillies. Would you buy the Eagles? No. What? But I would, but I, I'd, I'd be like, I'd get in there, but I wouldn't buy them outright. I mean, to give my two reasons why. I, and it's not, has nothing to do with business. Okay. I would love to just get out there and be able to play ball anytime I want. Okay. Some professional, you know, professional basketball players around pickup game, you know, whatever. Okay. And I would love to just go out there and play some baseball when I want it. Okay. On the on the field like that. Okay. Football, I ain't putting the pads on with them boys. No. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that. In hockey, I ain't, I can't skate. I can't even roller skate. So. Oh, okay. You'll be broke up. Yeah. So I would I would definitely buy some farmland, and I would like I'm talking animals and vegetables. Like I just want like a whole. Like all of it. Like I just want to walk through my pastures and my fields and I don't know why, but I want like chickens, cows, all that stuff. They yep. stink. Yeah, I know they stink. Yes, they we do. used to um and co our college was near a chicken coop. Yeah. That's I how we knew it was close. Oh yeah. I, smell right by. I was like, well, they out here burning bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Them chickens. Them chickens stink. Them chickens is it's, it's something else. It's a smell yeah. you cannot forget. My goodness. It's funny when you when you're somewhere where you ride around and seeing a truckload of chickens uh -huh. is like normal. I know truckloads of them. And, and truck I, loads I, of I don't them. think I've seen that maybe once or twice since I've been going from there. Really? Like but you on the road out there, you're seeing it every day. Yeah, truck yeah, that's true. Oh, I I've, I've never I seen it up here. I've never seen it up here. Okay. <laughs> Hi y'all. Tara's back, y'all. Yeah. Tara, would you rather sweat maple syrup or ketchup? Ooh, maple syrup. 
<laughs> but you know, they say that babies that are kissed at birth and taste like salt, but smell like sweet, um, have cystic fiber, like tend to have cystic fibrosis. Oh, really? The old mm. tale, but it's true. Yo, you went Would somewhere. Did I confuse you? You surely confused me. <laughs> yeah. Look like, how do we get here? <laughs> hold, hold, can we go back? You said kids that are kissed at birth. Babies that are kissed at birth and taste like salt. They like their skin is salty, but they uh -huh. have a sweet smell, like a syrupy smell. Uh huh. They they um tend to have cystic fibrosis. Interesting. Hmm. Well, old wives are salty. Thanks a lot, Tara. Now you're getting Tyra something to research tonight. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> on the phone all, right. all night. And now I'll I'll bring your babe, give me your phone. <laughs> right. I'm gonna know a lot about this subject in the morning. I'm gonna go to Tara. <laughs> <laughs> right, like Tara, do me, put earbuds in. Yeah, that's and turn your back. <laughs> <laughs> she does that to me. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you don't want to because I'm usually listening to a, something murder, 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 and he doesn't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. Murder, 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 kill, kill, kill. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, any, any... I have some other ones, but that's okay. We can go ahead and keep it moving. Okay, uh, this is another. Um, uh, would you rather? Would you rather have super superhuman speed or superhuman strength? Well, since I already have the strength. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let me see. Which would be more beneficial? Yeah, this is I, a toughie I for think me. I, I think I... Uh, I would say speed. Oh, hold on. Uh, she would say, yes, we call cystic fibrosis the salty kiss. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a nurse. Yeah. yeah. The salty kiss. So you don't have to do any research on that tonight. No, <laughs> I need to figure out. Hey, Sheena, thank you. Happens. Well, I need to know what happens in the genetics that causes. Yeah, that. and you know what? When you find out, let me know because that's that's an old wives' tale. I've, I've heard. Yeah. For I don't know why, because I'm not in. Well, I am in healthcare, but not on that side. Yeah. See, I need to get down to the nuts and bolts of why is that like that. Yeah. Let me know when you find out. What was the question again? Oh, would you rather have superhuman strength oh, yeah. or superhuman speed? I'll take the speed. speed. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the speed. I just, really? Yeah, I just yeah. Maybe it's because I ran track and I would just love to go back and <laughs> have that speed to just like what's the ball from uh from that cartoon movie? Jack Jack. Yeah. Oh, Jack Jack. Yeah, yeah. they got the speed. Oh, I was no. like, no, 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 you're going too fast. No, Jack Jack is the baby, right? What's the um, that's the, yeah, that is the big, but you know what I'm talking about the sun. Yeah, from the dash. Uh, yeah, the, from the Fantastics. The Incredibles. The Incredibles. The Incredibles. The Fantastic. On the right path. <laughs> I, was on, I was on the right path. I was. I was Every superhero uh, company got their little lightning person. They uh -huh. yeah, but, yeah, but I'll probably take speed as well. You would take speed? Yeah, I'll probably take because I was thinking, okay, if I had superhuman strength and somebody attacked me, I could like beat the crap out of them. Yeah, but then but you, if you, I had superhuman speed, I could run away. Exactly. You yeah. run. So, and I could probably, well, yeah, I'm not going to say that on camera, but yeah, I'll take superhuman speed. I'll probably go around the country hustling people. Yeah, yep. And races. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you, people would know who you are, though. Yeah, and uh, you got it. Now, can you imagine, like, you on vacation somewhere and be like, damn, I, I think I left the stove on. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No, nah, you didn't leave it on. You made me run all the way out there for nothing. Mm -hmm. Right? But that'd be cool, though. Yeah, that would be cool. That, that would be cool. Junior's cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> right. You have, it in, you have it in five seconds. You good. Yeah. Yeah, give me the speed. I like the speed. Yeah, I'll take the speed. What did Tara say? Speed. Speed. All yeah, right. So we're all taking the speed. Yeah. Because yeah. like, we over it with the strength, huh? Seems well, Goose already has the strength. So. He has the strength. So. Now, I'm going to tell you he does. I got a funny story. Goose, I don't know. Goose, Goose is Shazam, and we're all the rest of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I was buying some flatware for my new apartment, right? He's yeah. like, Goose, come on, let's go to Walmart, help me pick out some flatware. He was like, all right, cuz, let me check to see if this joint cheap, right? <laughs> so he would pick up the, the spoon and bend it. Just a nod, cuz look, I can bend this. This Joe and cheap. We went through every box of flatware in the store. Wow, and he the store. Who bent up all our flatware? <laughs> every spoon was bent. <laughs> I was like, cuz I think that's you. 
Yeah. Oh I, no, this is cheap. I said so they all cheap. I mean, granted, we were at we were at Wally World because that's what I could afford at the time. Wally World. Right. Yes, we were at Wally World, so maybe they all could have been cheap. You never know. No, but that was funny. I I was just like, he's bending everything. <laughs> well, that was the. Would you rather push? Uh, yeah, yeah, would you, you rather, rather push in the, the show? show brought to you by Therapeutic Military? I did my best, Tara. Uh, okay, thank uh, you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Come back and watch. <laughs> it's going to be a blurb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't that bad. Really. No, not at all. Really. No, he did you. He did you some justice. I just start, right. stumbled a couple times. That's all. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. So now we're going to get into the other part of the show that y'all love, and y'all know what it is. The part of the show where y'all get to be in everybody' business. That's and right. Do too, That's is, right. Is the Dear 107 portion of the show. And it's the portion of the show where we read y'all letters, emails, and stuff like that that y'all sent into the yeah. show. And we, you know, give you our professionally unprofessional opinions on the situation. Absolutely. Notice I said professionally unprofessional. Yes. <laughs> I think that's probably the best way to put it. All right. Let me, let me get my glasses. All right. I'm going to do the first one. Y'all ready? Yep. Okay. Dear 107, over the years, I've reconnected with a high school friend who I've known since grammar school, well, elementary school. Each connection throughout the years has been different until the last one where there was an instantaneous spark that truly synchronized us on so many levels, including talks about the near and far future, as well as expressing our feelings for one another until I was ghosted. He cut off contact and has and has ignored me completely with no explanation. I know this tactic has become widely used, but my confusion comes from not knowing what triggered it. We had in a single disagreement or argument. In fact, the last day we talked, he was receiving a shipment on my behalf that he has also since wait, has been unresponsive regarding outside of the scope of our relationship. I don't understand that sentence. So which uh -uh. is she had something shipped to his house. And he didn't say anything about it. And she's been trying to contact him to negotiate getting her stuff. Oh. And he's not even responding about that. Okay. And that is outside of the scope of their relationship. Okay, got it. And I really don't know how to read this. Ghosting, fine. Not being interested in me, fine. But how about common courtesy to return what does not belong to him so that nothing is connected between us? especially since he displayed all the signs that tell me he's just not interested, which I've come to accept and bow out gracefully. You say you've known him since grammar school and high school, but you are lying. You connected with that prince from Nigeria, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> the one that's been emailing everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the one that you connected with, and you yeah. had all your belongings sent to his house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now he's not contacting. Yep, she was one. We done shipped yep. it to his to his family uh -huh. back back on the other side. I mean, first, like, is he okay? Like, maybe he died. Is he in a car accident oh, or right. something? Yeah. Like, maybe yeah. something happens to him. It does happen. People yeah. people go missing. People, you know, if she doesn't know. Any of his like his family or something, he might check the obituaries. Yeah, something could he could be in a coma. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. As, I don't know the value of whatever he has, but whatever that value is, you can look at it as a lesson. That you know what I mean, like a I mean, three hundred dollar totally, lesson or whatever. It she is. could totally get her money you know back I mean? too. And, and mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the small claims court and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you could, but I mean, like she could also call the company and just say it was shipped to the wrong address. <laughs> it's not her address. But if that's the edge, that might be the edge um, that she put she on. Used, yeah. yeah. Or she can report it stolen. Um, There's always that. Yeah, but look at it as a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God that you found out who he was. But check and make sure nothing happened to him because something could have very well happened to him and you just don't know. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. Can you still true. see his post? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, is he posting? Is he still media. posting? Mm hmm. But just not commenting on none of your stuff and responding to you. Yeah. Uh, in this letter, I, uh, she said the last time we connected, there was a spark. She that was the last time they connected. 
Yeah, she said they've connected different times throughout the years, but this last time, it was an instantaneous spark that truly synchronized them on so many levels. They did the do. Yeah. Nice feelings for each other. So all of the times before was, hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah. how you Probably doing? How the last doing? time, it was like, how you doing? Uh-huh. So here's what happened. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you, I'm going to just break it down for you what happened. What, what happened? All right, Lucy. <laughs> 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 he, he built it up. Mm-hmm. He smashed. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't he's done with it now. Mm-hmm. Or he's, yeah, yeah. You see the comment we got? Yeah, or he's married and his wife burned everything. That's where I was going. Like, yeah, absolutely. He got a wife or a girlfriend, something, something stopped. Yeah, maybe the wife found out. In touch with you. Or maybe he, since y'all last connected, he maybe he got a girlfriend. Quite possibly. And, yeah. and basically cut you off. I need more information. Yeah. Are y'all in the same town? Like, but, I mean, he could still give you your stuff back. Like, yeah, that's that's kind of rude. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's why I said well, maybe. Well, I mean, but if he married, his wife is probably like, "Yo, who the hell is Shanique Johnson?" <laughs> right. And why is right. her stuff coming to our house? Right. You did what I'm saying? I don't know Shanique Johnson. I don't exactly. know why her stuff. We get in. junk mail all the time. Oh, Do did. return the sender. <laughs> that uh-huh. That's true. <laughs> I don't know if it was a package. Like, I wonder what she ordered. You know, those things don't always get returned to Sunday. That's true. That is true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, just check. You know, well, I mean, see, I don't know who she is, but it looks like it's your size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Ooh, babe, go on, try that on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's go ahead. Here's the second one Dear 10 7, I have been in a long term relationship with my significant other for over 10 years. I started out, it started out as a long distance relationship, but he moved in with me about eight years ago. Okay. It's been a rocky road, but for the most part, we stuck with it. My problem is I'm just not sure he is the person I really want or deserve. Money is a large issue between us, right? He refuses to buy groceries together claiming I spend too much money and he prefers the cheaper, less expensive option. I buy healthier food, so naturally it's more expensive. The result is we don't eat meals together. I feel resentful when he eats food I purchased and prepared. Heck yeah. I, oh, sorry. I own the house and he refuses to pay half of the bills. He says there's nothing in it for him. Whoa. He has refused to help with the recent sharp increase in utility bills. He does pay rent $600, but that's it. The icing on the cake is that from the moment he gets home from work until he goes down, till he goes to the downstairs bedroom, he plays video games and watches TV. To be fair, I should add that my job is training dogs and he isn't a huge fan of animals. So he ex- so his excuse for staying in the man cave is he doesn't like living with dogs. But he knew I was a trainer from the first day he met me. Am I being unfair to him? I like to spend more time with him. And I like, I like him to pay half the bills and to buy groceries together. It doesn't feel like we're a couple at all. Help. Y'all like not a couple. Baby, baby. No, not a couple. You're a nice place to stay. That's exactly right. It, it, You're a nice place to stay. I don't even y'all, y'all roommates with benefits. It, it, that's it. it. If, if, if no y'all benefits. getting to that, that's what I, was getting, it, I said. If you get to that point, yeah, because she said he go downstairs in the six hundred dollars. He's getting. He renting the room from you. Exactly. Exactly. He exactly. He rent the room. He rent the room and and they gonna eat your food. He lying to and you. And they gonna eat your food. <laughs> and he lying. He lying. Yeah. About he he's lying about um like he don't want to be where, but he ain't got nowhere else to go. And, and he's homeless. So he's he's making enough, I guess, to pay the rent, mm-hmm. but he ain't really got enough. But he's lying because his excuse is I don't like living with dogs. He ain't saying they ain't saying nothing about having a dog. Right. No, she she trained the house. House. She's a dog trainer. Really, like that? Come on, think about that, y'all. Like, no, no. I, when, when, when I read it, I was like, "That's BS." Yeah, it <laughs> was complete. People that really don't mess with dogs, they like, "No, I can't live there because you got dogs." Exactly. Exactly. As soon as he exactly. finds a, a better, more comfortable situation for him, he's out. Yeah. Yep. With, with your food, with your healthy food, your healthy food. 
No utilities and get and get meals. Exactly. Like, and I'm he probably drove her ultimate. And healthy meals on top of that. <laughs> you in there drinking my kombucha. Okay. Just, just kombucha cause, not just cheap. He, just because he don't <laughs> like fruity pebbles, but he like fruity flakes. Oh my gosh. You can't you can't blame him for that. I can't get mad at him for that. No. I'm save a couple hours. Uh-uh. 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 Well, you go, that's fine, but don't eat cereal. my stuff. He buys don't. the bag cereal as opposed to the, the box cereal. Well, he eat his bag cereal, and when your cereal run out, you the go to the store and get your cereal. They don't, no. they don't eat together. But she said that but he, he eating her food. Because she when said she gets resentful when he eats her food or a meal that she's prepared. Well, I'll say this: Why feel resentful and and, and still have him there? Exactly. Oh yeah, no, no. We all like, know that he shouldn't be there. Right. Yeah. He shouldn't be there. He don't want to be there. Right. And I, it, it, you know, it is what it is. She I say this: cook easy. just enough for your one meal. Yep. Pack your stuff up. Put a refrigerator in your room and lock the door. And you see, I don't. And I ain't living like that. So he got the door. Right. Put him out. Right. And that's what I was gonna say. Would you just the comment that you just put up of Kim's? Like, why? Why did it take you so long? To fig- why? Why ten years? Yeah, like that ten didn't, years did not just start exhibiting this behavior. This didn't just start. yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand why when y'all decided to he, he decided moving to your spot, y'all didn't negotiate things better. Exactly, or up front, yeah. You know what I'm make your so make, 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 by, make by your by expectations it. known. Like, hey. Yo, dog, this is how much this is. This is how much this is. This is what you owe every month for these bills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She let, she let, I'll just call it love for the sake of, for the lack of a better term. She let love and excitement blind her from making good decisions. Mm-hmm. Right. She let it cloud her judgment. Like, yeah. like that's, you kind of got to have that laid out before, you know what I'm saying? You, you got That's something that's got to be. Mm-hmm. Did we do that? I think so. Absolutely. And then I'm curious as to what kind of dude he is, what well, was before y'all decided to live together. Right. That yeah. other than you really liking this dude mm-hmm. made you right. want to live with this dude. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Did you mean saying, this what kind of responsibility did he show during the time before you cohabitated? Exactly. Y'all met on like MySpace or something? <laughs> Not my space. Oh, they might have met online, black and black. she probably never even been to his house. Did you go? Where was he living before he, he moved? That's what I want to know. Where he was he? Did you ever go there? Finally, let him move in for six hundred a month. She's a Probably that's what that sound like. Yep. Prison Bay. Yep. Absolutely. They, they got. They got. They got. They had to call me to go get him, and that's when he moved in. Oh Lord! <laughs> only, only a few people understand that reference. I don't. I don't mm-hmm. uh, uh, uh. The oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 we got we got one more, right? Uh, yeah. yeah okay. One more. Uh, would you? I'm um, excuse me. One more, dear ten seven. Yeah. Uh, dear ten seven, I am a believer that everything happens with a reason and purpose. A man I have known for 20 years has come back into my life. The connection is really strong between us, but we don't live in the same state. He has two children and a common law wife, but I do not (laughs) care because I'm in love (laughs) with this man. Do you think I should explore these feelings or should I let past feelings stay in the past? Girl, girl. Girl, why do you even write this? You know the answer. In high school, stop it. Do you watch our show? (laughs) <laughs> do you know the basis of this show like we're all married not not all of not we're not in that kind of marriage do you even know do he, do he like you right okay. <laughs> let's start there start there now he's got a common law wife and i don't care uh well look here we go first of all common law wife means that they never really officially like went down right. the aisle or whatever. They never had a ceremony or went to the government. They just whatever. living together. Also they living together. She won't beat the brakes off. Either. That's what I'm saying. You don't care, but she might. <laughs> exactly. So I mean she just might be, the the other woman right might just kind of be in that situation too. Just you know stalling it out. 
I doubt it. She might be though. Like he is. Well then, listen. If if or you want to pursue something, you need to make. So for make instance, it. once you're jumping a lot yeah. of hurdles, y'all don't. A lot of hurdles. Yeah. He's quasi married. Yeah. He's got children. You like you you like. Here's, here's the one thing. Here's the one thing you should consider. And you being uh, selfish. Here's the one thing you should consider, lady. One thing you should consider, and you know everybody can have their own opinion about what I'm about to say. <clears throat> Common law wife means he's not married to her. Not he hasn't officially married her. You know what I'm saying? Um, but depending on what you're looking for, understand that that also means that he did not commit to this woman either. Okay. Mm. So that if you're looking true. for a commitment, that may not be what he's about. Mm. That is true. And she got his kids, and he's still on his nope. Mm -hmm. So, nope. so just something to think. Like twenty years though, and you like, I gotta have him. Like exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. I I think you need to just let the past feelings stay in the past. That's exactly right. And move on with your life before you ruin your life and possibly the lives of these children. And that's where I think you're being selfish at. This man has children. Mm -hmm. And you about to really just up shake the whole beehive. But we don't even really know that because I think she might be an escape mental patient. Because like, <laughs> clearly, like, clearly she has so many really? odds stacked against her. They don't even live in the same state. But she said she don't care. Do lady, put your diaper on and drive three thousand miles away. Ah. You know how much you love him in the hope that he loves you back. Absolutely, that's what she's gonna do. She Absolutely. This is fitting to be a Netflix. Movie. Is that lady still in jail, or like could this be that lady <laughs> right now? <right, right, laughs> <sure. laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? You know, who knows? I can't believe she did that, man. Oh my gosh. It, it could be that lady. Right it now. could be her. Is that you, ma'am? Uh, it could be. I don't, I don't know. I don't maybe, know. She, she might be because she might be getting ready to get out of prison. Maybe she got out because of COVID. Maybe. It was letting people out. <laughs> she wasn't mind violent, though. Didn't she do She might have did something violent. But. Uh, she got caught or something, didn't she? Yeah, she got caught. But I think she was going to do something violent. Yeah, she was. She was going a to whole be. astronaut. Okay, See, intelligence as ain't stated, everything. As stated earlier, <laughs> are unprofessional. What did I say? Are professionally uh, unprofessional opinions. opinions. That's, That's, what opinion. That's what we are. Yeah. These are opinions. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you wrote <laughs> letters, so you had to expect this. <laughs> I know. You just never know what we're gonna say. You know. And you do but tell watch the show, so you oh. know how we're gonna react already. Yes, absolutely. It is what it is. Hey, if you're watching the show right now, make sure you share us with a friend, a family member, or even an enemy. Uh, let us know. Let's let's get the, let's get some of this uh, information out there to the masses. We're gonna get people watching the show and, and following us and really understanding what we do here on the Ten Seven Show. So the link that you went to to watch the show, if you're watching on Facebook or whatever the case may be, share it out with your people so we can have this party going because we're about to get into our topic right now. Uh, yes, of um, relationship. Deal breakers, Tara. Uh -huh. This is always a fun conversation. Yes, it is. Especially with this one. Over they there. tried to trap me oh, earlier. Wait, 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 Flat out, is it a flat? Look at them trying to look at them trying to do the woman thing, Goose. You're not even. Right. Looking. You're to do the woman thing. See? I don't. I don't know. We can do the confirm or deny. I don't want to incriminate myself or Tyler. Hey, that's cool. Well, let's go. But, okay. Well, you, you can answer this. You can answer this one straight up. Okay. Have you heard Tyra say these statements during the Ten Seven show? See, that's all right. I plead the fifth. That's my girl. What you applauding? Oh. <laughs> See, look at that. <laughs> all right. So, um, deal breakers in a relationship are the things that will cause you to call it quits no matter how long you've been together. So, some common deal breakers, people, include a person's stance on having kids, 
lack of responsibility with money or lack of ambition. What are some of y'all's deal breakers before you were married? I know yours, like yours is huge. And I'm still so surprised you married me. So I can remember us having a conversation before and before I was married and, and not that it like changed or anything like that. But one of my, <laughs> one of my biggest deal breakers before I was married was body odor. It still should be that should breaker. always be a deal. <laughs> right. What I'm, but what I'm saying is so so <laughs> it was almost unfair because you could have been coming from the gym. <laughs> and I and you know what I'm saying? And and you I know, can't just keep, like just to keep bringing that musty girl. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Yeah. Like, like the coming from the gym like, or coming from some kind of practice, you kind of got it from you get sweaty at the gym. I get that. And, and I'm not saying that I know you're coming from the gym. You stink. Uh, we're done. So that's I'm why you suggested. Like, I'm saying like <laughs> you could have been the finest woman in the world and I approach you and you, you got that, that that hoagie smell going. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, like if I pick you up and we going to my friend's barbecue and you smell like a cheesesteak, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. I might have to do that. That's, that's got, a problem. You got going out back in the house to handle that. One of, oh, one of the things that... have a natural, like... Odor, which to me, th that would be a deal breaker for me because I don't yeah. want to smell. What one of the other things that was a deal breaker <laughs> for me, um, and I'm saying deal breaker as in I wouldn't like I, I saw it and I was like I, I didn't like it is uh, and I said that I've been saying it for years, I said it on a new twist show back in the day 13 years ago, and I'm saying it now when you have a lot of gums and a little oh, bit of <laughs> I remember you saying it, you yes, you did it. Saying it, somebody said dolphin teeth like that. That, that oh, shit, that's yeah. true. That okay, doesn't... so we have some, yeah, we got some comments. Kim said, lying, cheating, loyalty, health and wellness, family orientation, ambition, and financial. Woo, pretty much well, everything on my list here, Kim. Everything, on my yeah, list. <laughs> but I did, I did say lying, I did, but before we were married, I did say that so now because you... listen, if you lie, you cheat, if you cheat, it like. You lie on like no, I'm no. Let me give you an example. Really, really no, weird. no. Let me say I believe I I don't tolerate little white lies, and I don't and I don't because if you lie about something small, you'll definitely lie about something big. Tara, and if you lie, you cheat. If you cheat, you still, and if you still, you'll kill. Little ones and big ones. You don't want you none went of the whole gambit. The whole I don't want none of it. Let me yeah, tell you, Tara. I was telling them earlier. Like I break out in a sweat when Tara when Tyra asked me if I fought it. <laughs> like I was like, yo, should I should I own it? Like should I? <laughs> you, you got it. You got to own it because if you, tell, if you if you no, you know what I mean. Like you know what I mean. Like you meet somebody and like he lied about his name or. You know, he he lie about where he lived. Like, if you're lying to me about little insignificant oh, stuff, like you definitely will lie about bigger things. So, I, I, to me, I feel like, I, why waste my time even wait and see if you're gonna keep lying? No, but like lying about where you live, that's funny because yeah, how you gonna explain you that, that, that later? You yeah. like, like, why are you telling me you live over there? Well, you know, I got trust issues. <laughs> yeah, see now you got lot your issues. You you got lot issues. Bad trust issues. Yeah. What if his well, name was like Lee John, like the boy in that movie? And when, when he tell so I mean my thing is if but you but that was like embarrassing. Like his name was Lee John because his mom didn't know who the father was. So, so she named him Lee, Lee and John. John. Well, you don't have I to say on. why, but you don't have to lie you about your name. Like Lee John, that has to come with call in. But it could be yeah. <laughs> she said, "Y'all gonna make me call in." Well, call you know, do we have according, according to this this article, communication is foundation is foundational, right? Mm -hmm. So if right. you find that communication is difficult, what's wrong? Um, is difficult, or your partner becomes aloof or guarded, Justin, if she asks you if you farted, or defensive <laughs> when you initiate a a serious conversation, this could be right. a trigger. Yeah. Absolutely. Not when somebody's getting kind of antsy, like what a grand used to say, I'm not gonna ask you because I don't want you to lie to me. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's yep. what you say to somebody. Well, well damn. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, it's just because I'm like, once you do that about I mean, I just I can't 
I just can't trust you after that. Like everything, like I could be like, yeah, okay, sound like, but everything you tell me in the back of my mind, I'm like, mm hmm. Let me fact check that. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't believe that. Like, why? You know, like people who lie about being sick. And I'm like, why? Like, why are you just yeah, every, every, Everybody that has a job has lied about being right, sick. Right, but don't lie to your friends. Yeah, but I'm talking about like you yeah. lying to your. You know, I mean, yeah, people probably have lied about being sick to get out of a date or something. But I'm talking about if we in a relationship. Raising money and go from this and yes. buckets at yeah. the corner store and all of that. Exactly, exactly. Or you lie, say you don't have kids and you got kids. Like, that's not a, a small I lie. That's something that's definitely going to come out. Like, how do you hide a whole person? Oh, people have yeah. done it and are probably still doing it. Oh, well. you know what I'm saying? oh, abuse. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Abuse is is abuse definitely like a dear break. A, a previous person, or <clears throat> they were abused. Kim, I'm saying, I, I'm I'm thinking she was like she's saying that Somebody. somebody's like abusive Easy. to her. Yeah, that's okay. a deal breaker. Like some people, some people don't leave a relationship when they're abused. Which oh yeah, that leads to all types yeah. of issues. Yeah, um, um, yeah. I feel like if you accept that, then. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll accept anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next one is you're not on the same page when it comes to finances. That's super important, especially it's if you very important. merge your life with somebody else. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, mm -hmm. Just because you can't handle your money now. I got to take care of you. What am I, your mother? I don't think so. Exactly. So, like, like one of our 10 seven letters. We'll do, we'll oh, yeah. No we don't want to pay no bills. So do you really want to be with that dude? I'm Did he pay for your went out ever before you live with that man? Like this man, right? Like, you set yourself up for a lifetime of stress. Yep. Yeah, a yeah. lifetime of stress, and God knows whatever else consequences are going to come from you being stressed about this person not being able to handle their finances. Yeah, can you imagine the strength? Finances is something that's always going to come up. If y'all are not exactly. on the age, yeah. you might as well just put the kibosh on that right now. Exactly. Exactly. Um. What did Kim say? Physical, oh. mental, or even. She was talking about the abuse. Oh, okay. Physical, mental, or even sexual abuse. Okay. Yes. So the You're absolutely right. Is showing, see, oh, shit. Showing lack of interest. Although it seems like a small, simple thing to note as a deal breaker, many people ignore the signs when there's a lack of interest from your partner. So it could be a lack of interest. Um, if one partner makes the other partner feel unattractive, like, for instance, here's yeah. an example. Say, <laughs> say someone gets their hair done, oh, I don't know, like every two weeks. And everyone that they know, including strangers at the supermarket, oh. are always like, your hair looks so beautiful. Your hair is so nice. And then you come home to the person that you love in the door, and they're like, oh, hey, what's for dinner? So I rarely say what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so, so obviously she's not talking about you. I'm gonna put my glasses back on. So I rarely say what's for dinner. Okay. And second of all, you know your hair looks nice because you wouldn't have left the shop if it didn't. But no, but you know how Tyra, help me if you can, please. I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, yeah. you know, like total strangers are always telling me my hair looks nice. My own husband's like. Yeah, okay, great. Like, like, yeah. like, did you even notice? Right. Did you notice I colored it? It's a different style. Like, yeah, no, he. It's just hair to them. Yeah, he don't care. I could I could be bald. He wouldn't care. Oh, no, Justin would he notice that. Matching, matching yeah. baldies, and he wouldn't oh. care. I would notice. Oh, can we have matching baldies? <laughs> yeah, sure. Would you care? You better like cone hair. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> you, you choose to cut your hair or what I'm going to do. Well, you know, I'm really glad you take that stance, but I would never cut my hair. <laughs> so there's that. Listen, I I wouldn't cut it like bald, but I would do a nice little low cut. A nice little dirty tennis ball. I knew you was going to say that. Dirty tennis ball. You cut your hair, you want to look like a dirty tennis ball. Mm -mm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> right, here we go. This one is important. You do not have the same values. When you choose your oh, partner, yeah. you should consider all aspects of the person, including their values to yours. Do they see eye to eye on values like integrity, ambition, love of family, and other things that are important to you? Like, it's true. 
family yeah. to this one. My family mm-hmm. is a reunion every time I come home because my mother and my son are here. But like with a huge family, like family, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that's how y'all grew up. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, and I that it took me a long time to learn that because my bio family is kind of weird with like Yeah. That. That's true. I was in a uh, previous relationship and that person, they had a big family, but they wasn't. You was in a previous relationship? Yes. And, but they weren't, they were like kind of like the black sheep of their family, I guess. So they like family wasn't big to them, but family was like big to me. Cause I'm like, you know, we, we like, we go on vacations. Like I tell people all the time, like when we come, we come together and we leave together. Yes. We are. I'm surprised we don't walk in sync like the person. right, right, <laughs> right, and that's how we are. And so I was just, you know, I love the fact that Justin was like real family oriented, like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Except for me, when y'all do family stuff, because I'm always damn working. Oh, I know we missed it. Oh no, right? maybe you should have chosen a different career path. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I believe. <laughs> I believe. I so working if, all these odd hours. Use your that PTO partner differs significantly. Compare the others. <laughs> if your ahead, partner differs significantly on a core value, the relationship can be doomed. That is true. That is true. Um, here's a good one. They aren't over their ex. Well, yeah, right. Heck yeah. I'm not gonna play second fiddle, so right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Now, now, because in my turn today, let's let's <laughs> let's dive into this a little bit. Just just because I thought about something um, from a, a dear ten seven letter we had a few weeks back, where I think it was oh, a yeah. guy was like, "Should I?" I don't remember if it was a guy or a girl, but they were saying like, "Should I step back?" Because it was like the anniversary of their oh. death. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. In that situation, does that mean that that person is not over their ex? I mean, that's a whole, that's a death. So it's, that's, yeah. It's kind of hard to yeah. compete that's with def- that guy. Yeah, that's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, can, he ain't coming back no matter what. Yeah. Right. But, right. That doesn't mean he can't be a distraction. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Saying. Like, should, yeah. could, could that be a deal breaker with like somebody's dealing with the death of an no. ex? I think it possibly could be depending on how you yeah, deal with it. Yeah, yeah. How you breathe it. How extreme it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if somebody like, yo, why y'all break up? And you be like, yo, she wasn't over her dead ex. Then yeah. for me, I'm like, oh, that's deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, yeah. I, know, I know people that have been in that situation. Like, she's going through some things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's that space. Yep. That's, that's, tough, just, that's totally valid. I mean, you. everybody grieves in there. It takes you know, their own time, you know? Mm-hmm. But if you're still grieving 20 years later, that yeah. might be a psychological issue. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. To a certain extent, you're always going to grieve. You're always going to grieve, but over time, at least for me, I know, and I can't speak for everybody else, but I know I've, I've lost people. And so initially, you're sad, right? And it's like, it's hard to deal with. But over time, life goes on. The me- life goes on, but so right. please, like when you think about that person, you might even laugh and smile exactly. and chuckle. You know what yep. I mean? So like, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. gotta, you gotta keep living. Exactly. Right. I Absolutely. Forty to your memory. Me. Uh-uh. That's what I told Justin. I said, "Babe, if something happened to me. I want you to move on. Nope. Marry somebody else. One hundred percent. He say, he say, he says no every time. I'm good. I give Goose five minutes. Five <laughs> no. minutes. Okay. How you doing? Damn. <laughs> Five minutes. No. No. No, because we had this conversation years ago, and I was like, I want you to mourn me for one year and one day. He was like, Well, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you remember you remember when uh Heathcliff and Claire Huxtable had that conversation? No, I don't remember that. And she said, she said, she asked him, if I died, would you remarry? Oh, and I think he said, Yeah, didn't Well, he? first he said no. Okay. But then she was like, well, she was like, <laughs> she said, well, what if you met me? Mm. And he and he said, yeah, but she got mad about that. Um. Like, on his back the, the next morning. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nah. She, want she did. Get, yeah, she's the other one who's to get remarried. Especially if he's still young got enough. Li- you know what I mean? Yeah, he got some vitality in him. Even if he were 
80 and you found somebody and you had companionship and you really had something in common with this person, and you, who wants to be alone all the time? You know what I mean? If you yes. don't have to okay. Fine. Date. I'm good. Would you date? I might go out to dinner. I wouldn't call it a date. Oh, you, you just love me that much. Oh. You, you sound like he in seventh grade. Uh, <laughs> we just ate together. That's all. Mm. Listen, I got ESPN. I'll be all right. Hey. <laughs> Seriously. I'll be good. Mm. Watch first take reruns. I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> This one for me, I think is pretty big because I, when I, not that I was looking for a husband, but I knew what I did not want in a husband. So this mm -hmm. to me is, is definitely would have been a deal breaker. There is no sense of vision. For many people, lack of ambition or drive in a partner can be a huge turnoff. Yes. It doesn't mean that it's a deal breaker for everyone, but it should be. Mm -hmm. Being a very determined and successful person and pairing with someone who is content can be detrimental to any relationship. I agree with that 100%. Yep, 100%. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. I agree with that. Because it's, it's, it's after a while, it's like dead weight to you because you pulling and pulling and pulling and they don't want to move. Mm -hmm. You know, rather it's a physical pull or an emotional pull. And I think an emotional pull is probably even worse. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree with that 100%. What about you, babe? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right, <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, y'all right. said it all. I just agree with it. Like, you know, I don't think I can add anything to it. It's real. So this, like, yeah. this one came up already. Um, per Kim brought it up. There's a history of abuse, whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual. If you hear of someone being abused, it may seem like an easy fix to just leave, but oftentimes it's not as easy as it seems nor simple to notice that it's happening. Physical or sexual abuse are absolute deal breakers in a relationship. They should be. Absolutely. Yep. Talking to the spot is psychological and emotional abuse, which mm -hmm. is, yeah. Yeah, that is tougher to spot. Mm -hmm. And by the time you spot that sometimes, you're so messed up in your mind, you know? Mm -hmm. It may even be harder to leave. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God I've never had to deal with anything like that. Um, you know, were you ever so, abused in a relationship? I'm abused every day. Oh gosh, yeah. are you an abuser, Tara? I know. I I don't. Tara would never do that. Abused every day. All kind of abuse. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Abused. Tara, I got your <laughs> back. Anybody that knows me knows how much I love me. You can blink three times if you're in trouble. <laughs> 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 so the code. <laughs> so I, I, I think like today, um, a deal breaker for me would be, and I, and I don't think I realized. Oh, you got one? Got, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Um, I don't think I realized until I got a little older. What it would is um, respecting yourself in the relationship. Like I think that's like the main deal breaker for me. Like if you don't respect the relationship, you don't respect yourself. Mm -hmm. Why? Why should I be with you? Well, I mean, what you mean, like respecting yourself? That's kind of broad. Like, what do you like? Give so, an example. So, if you out here, if you out here hoeing and everybody know it. Oh, okay. Well, that's cheating. Yeah, yeah. but see, some people you get, talk about what? prior to being. Yeah, there. but you see, but it's more. Terrible. But it's not. You know, trying to hide it. You just. But that's is what it is. Right. I know I'm married, but they know I'm, I'm effing John. I'm effing Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Know it. Everybody know that you you the person that they can come to. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And there's people out there that are like that. Right. Right. Yeah, we know some of them. That is, that's a deal breaker. Like cheating people, some people, uh, cheating is a deal breaker. Some people is not. But when you're out there like that, okay. it, it's got to be a deal breaker. You're, you're not respecting me. You're not respecting the relationship or yourself. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> that's one example that, that entails both. Both things. of them. Okay. I got you. I got you. Mm. Yeah. Ashy knees. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm just going to pack my bag. I got, I got dry skin anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <she needs laughs> elbows. But wait. Is it just 
one time the knees are ashy. <laughs> continuously. Like, wait, hey, one ashy thing. No ash flakes at all. Not no skin. You know no, what I'm saying? The, the, no ashy skin. In the set bathroom, off. Like, okay. Ah! <laughs> yo, he gonna leave me, yo. Right. <laughs> hey, me the shea butter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna put powder what's, on my knees and come in the room. What's a uh, deal breaker for you right now? A deal breaker for me right now. So I make sure I don't do it. Well, you know what my deal breaker oh, is. Lions. Lions. No, it's not the lion. Infidelity. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Lazy, that's... I don't do nothing, and I don't try to do nothing. I'll be in the crib watching ESPN. He be home so much. I be like, you need to go out. Go yeah, out. I was, uh, yeah, she did <laughs> say that the other day. She was like, yo. I, what was it? Uh, was I on vacation or something? I don't know what you were doing, but you were just. I home. was off. I was off for some reason. Mm -hmm. and she was like, "Yeah, you need you need to find something to do. You need to get out the house." I was like moving furniture around. She's like, "You need to you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just you're like you're, you're just no, finding you, stuff. You gonna be the the old man, and once you retire, you gonna drive your wife crazy. Yes. In here, pitting around, changing the furniture, moving the, moving the pictures. Mm -hmm. I'm like, go hang out. Looking Do forward. something. That's okay. I'm going to put plants everywhere. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'll move them, too. <laughs> yeah. This one will look better over here. <laughs> this one has the feng shui. So y'all y'all ready? Y'all have y'all uh, final twist for tonight? I do. I do, I do. Yeah. Mine's a simple, and it just hit me as I went to go get the young master. Okay. You ready? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mine's is motherhood is really about accepting the fact that you will be permanently worried for the rest of your life. Amen. <laughs> yep. That's it. All right. Mine is for every minute you are angry. You lose sixty seconds of happiness. Mm. You hear that, babe? Because uh, the minute is sixty seconds. Absolutely. Second, like, I'm joking with you. I'm never angry. I'm <laughs> not angry. So this is mine, and in honor of Women's History Month, I'll be reading a quote from a woman uh, every month while we're doing this show. So here we go. This is from the Honorable Dr. Maya Angelou. Mm -hmm. You may not control the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Mm. Deep. 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 Oh, it's my turn. It's your turn. Thank you. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I, I have one, but it kind of comes with a with a story. So um, one one thing my but I take with me all the time. I, I'm pretty sure I've said it on the show before. Uh, my dad told me a long time ago, I think it was when I was playing baseball as a kid. Um, he said, you always want to do your best because you never know who's watching. And the reason I'm saying it now is because this week I received a message from from one of the kids that, that I coach. And, uh, you know, he was, you know, because there is a possibility that I won't be able to coach this year. So, you know, he was just thanking me for everything I did, you know, and all like that. And it felt great. And I posted it. And y'all may have seen it. Mm -hmm. And um, and then that was followed up by another kid texting me. I, I saw he texted me at like midnight. I saw it the next morning. And I posted that one. And that was followed by a whole bunch more from alumni mm -hmm. that I coached and kid. So and I didn't post all that. And maybe one day I will. Um, but. I'm saying all that to say, you know, you never know when you're making a difference in somebody's life just by doing something that you love to do. Mm -hmm. So if you get out there and, and you love to do something, you are affecting people's lives in some way, um, even if you don't know it. So, you know, get out there and keep doing your best when you're out there doing your thing because you never Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why do you love the kids? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> But that's going to do it for the 10-7 show for this week. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us this week once again with us, Tara, Tyra, Goose, and myself. And uh, we will be back next week's not a holiday, is it? I don't think so. So I guess we'll be back next week <laughs> to talk to y'all again uh, for more shenanigans and all like that. But make sure y'all sharing this with everybody out there. Share us during the week. We're going to have it on the podcast forum. Uh, 
you know, at some time tomorrow. So make sure you share that as well. Listen to it while you're driving because you can't watch it because you should be watching the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kim said, thank you. Good, sh- good show. Appreciate Thanks, it. Kim. Thanks, Kim. Appreciate the comments. Kim and Sheena, y'all kept them coming. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. And uh, everybody else that's checking us out that, you know, just wanted to sit back and chill and watch. We appreciate y'all too. You know, it ain't, it's all love. Yeah. Um, so with that all being said, we're going to get up out of here. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us and uh, we'll talk to y'all next week here on the 10 seven show. Hit the like button. Be safe, people. Hit the like button. Hit the like button.